Uh, in this video, I will um, show you or uh, argue why uh, JPEG Digger is a part of the JPEG Repair Toolkit, while JPEG Repair in itself is a recovery tool. So let's, for example, look at this image. Now, the image look, looks very corrupt, so you th you think you need a repair tool to fix this. But I've looked into this case and basically what you will find is that this one file uh, actually contains parts of several images. So basically it's a mix of data from several images so to repair that you would need to look at all the images on this particular drive and identify which part of which image belongs to yet another image the uh, the thing is that in this case the file system of the uh, it was a usb thumb drive is corrupt so um, rather than the individual files being corrupt in the end that's the end result but the, the underlying cause is a corrupt file system so imagine a um, uh, this is a fat file system and uh, it's called fat because its main component is a file allocation table which is basically nothing else than a table uh, in which each entry represents a cluster and to uh, track down the uh, clusters allocated to one file it looks at this table if this table is corrupt then uh, you will no longer be able to track individual clusters to specific files even we do see file names and extensions and they will have a file date and they will have a file size but this is not stored in the file allocation table but in a directory entry so you can have that the directory is uh, intact while the file allocation table is not now if you would attempt to uh, uh, so the idea is then rather than repairing these files you need to try to recover them so this is where JPEG Digger comes in and um, JPEG Digger can do this because it completely ignores the file system so rather than looking at what the file system says what the directory entries have to say what the file allocation table has to say about uh, where a file is and what it's called and all that it just looks at each sector on a drive and tries to determine if it's part of a JPEG file because JPEG Digger only concerns itself with uh, JPEG files now you could argue that you should be able to do the same thing with any recovery tool but just as an example I have scanned this drive I'm not gonna do it for, uh, 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 for you because I there are some I images that do show and I do not want you to see them because they're not my images but anyway here I have scanned this drive using Recuva and uh, what Recuva basically does is look at the file system to locate file names uh, then with the directory entry it can uh, determine which file allocation table entry is the first one for this file and from that one you can uh, get the next cluster and the next and the next and the next until you encounter an end of file you can see that uh, uh, Rukova uh, scanned the drive and it basically gets the same kind of corrupt files back that you already have when you look at the directory the files it did get right are the ones that are 
already correct in the directory as well. So uh, this case was submitted to me uh, with a request to repair the files, but I ended up recovering them. And basically this specific case was the, um, the spark that made me uh, write uh, JPEG Digger. So I will show you what JPEG Digger does. I'm gonna blur a part of the screen now, so I'm hoping this works. I pause the video for one second. Okay, it's running again and I hope it's working. Otherwise I'll have to cut out this part and record this separately. So uh, look at the disk, local disk G, G. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull up JPEG Digger. I'm gonna select drive. Hey, oh, I need to refresh that, I guess. Yeah, G. And I'm gonna scan the drive default settings. Now it may be hard to see because of the overlay I put on top of it, but every file JPEG Digger pulls off the drive is completely intact. So, and the reason why it can do this is it ignores the files this system. Instead, it looks at traces of the actual file data. Uh, it has its, its own uh, JPEG decoding routine, so to speak. So it can, once it's located at the start of a file, it can find the rest of the file as well. And it know where it ends and all that. The only thing it cannot uh, reproduce is the file names because file names are a property of the file system so it can only find jpeg file data and uh, it simply names the file after the location where it found it so this file will be called uh, 23240.jpg so uh, summarizing, uh, this, this case was brought to me as a repair case, but instead I discovered that repair was as good as impossible, but that the underlying cause was a corrupt file system. So this is why JPEG Digger is included in the JPEG re uh, Repair Toolkit. This is not the only case that I have solved using JPEG Digger. There are many more cases where cases initially brought to me as a repair case while in the end it turns out to be a recovery case because the file system is corrupt um, how do you recognize these cases uh, uh, in most of these cases it was not just uh, a small percentage of files that was corrupted because that could indicate a file is located on a bad sector or something but uh, the majority of the files was corrupted. This can, of course, be the case that they're all corrupted, but uh, the more files are corrupted on one single drive, the more likely it becomes that the underlying cause is something else, like the file system. Um, I guess this is it. This is what I wanted to show you and um, yeah, if you have a memory card and lots of corrupt files on it, first, I, I'd suggest to first always try to recover them rather than uh, repairing them. Also, many of the cases that are brought to me are actually the result of file recovery. So people have uh, a corrupt drive or, or uh, a deleted files or a formatted drive then they use some recovery software recuva is not one of the best examples but people use it for it but also uh, stellar photo recovery or recover it photo recovery uh, there are plenty of those and then they discover after reco uh, recovery that the files are corrupt also in many of those cases uh, the files are corrupt because they are incorrectly recovered so if you have used a tool like Recoverit or Stellar or any tool that basically 
that primarily takes the file system as its starting point to recover files then it's always a good idea in case of corrupt files to use a carver like jpeg digger so a carver is a tool that ignores file system and looks for actual file data and saves that to files so i hope this helps somebody someday and uh, this 